Hey guys, it's Jared here from Rogue Archery. We're up at the beautiful Sunshine Coast on an awesome day. I've just been for a kick-ass swim with my wife. Uh, but we're here in the park and I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to uh, show you guys how to do archery chin-ups. Okay, we've got this chin-up bar that the council set up here. Um, and this is one of the best exercises you can do for archery because it takes minimal equipment. Um, and if I could do only one exercise for archery, it'd be chin-ups. However, not all chin-ups are created equal, so I'm going to show you how to do proper chin-ups for archers. Okay? So let's have a crack. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is the grip. Okay? So there's a few different types of grip for chin-ups. Um, supinated means palms up, like this. Okay? Pronated means palms down, like that. And then, of course, the width on the bar also makes a difference. Now, the strongest position for beginners is actually with parallel bars if you have them because that allows the best um, recruitment of the elbow flexors. So you'll find if you're getting started with chin-ups, you'll be a little bit stronger on the parallel bars like this. Um, the next best variation to do to get started on is supinated chin-ups at shoulder width. So that's like this that I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Okay. Okay, so as far as technique goes, guys, just a couple of things. I talked about the grip already, so the best way to start out with a straight bar like this is with a supinated grip with about shoulder width apart, okay? The next thing is to make sure that when you start, you start from a free hang position, okay? That's with your arms fully extended, okay? And um, your scapula extended as well. That's because the first part of the exercise is actually to set and retract the scapula down and back like this, before you draw your body weight up to the bar. The reason why that's so important is because that first part of the exercise is what recruits the scapular retractors, and that's very important because it has the best athletic transfer into archery. So hopefully that makes sense. The, um, the next part of the technique that you need to do is when, after you've set your shoulders down and back, okay, is think about pulling the elbows down. That's where the power comes from. And then you wanna pull all the way up till your chest touches the bar, okay? Pause for one second, and then on the way down, you want to have a four second tempo. So it should be touch, pause, one, two, three, four, all the way to a free hang again, before reset the scapula, and then pull through and repeat. Now, these chin-ups are far, far more difficult than what most people do with chin-ups. Most people tend to do sort of the half chin-ups through the middle range, but they don't do the first third or the last third which is the two hardest parts, right? So it's very important that you start from a free hang, and it's very, very important that you pull the way up to the chest is basically touching the bar, because that's the last little bit where you're actually squeezing the scapular retractors all the way back for maximal recruitment. Okay, good luck, I hope this is helpful. Now, as a little guideline, um, just if you're starting out with this, don't be disheartened if they're very, very difficult to get started. Um, I work with a lot of archers and athletes, and generally people, uh, you know, the general public, the average woman can do zero chin-ups with this technique, okay, and the average man, um, they can usually do six or 10 chin-ups if they muscle through them with bad technique, but once they're held to strict technique like this, from a free hang all the way to the chest touching the bar, they can do between zero and three on a good day. So um, don't be disheartened if you're um, just starting out. I'll be releasing more tips on how to build up your chin-up strength, even if you can't do a single chin-up when you get started. So stay posted for more information and good luck on the range. Stop, hold the presses. One more very important thing that I forgot to mention about chin-ups for archery. Another reason why it's so important to go all the way to a free hang when you're doing chin-ups is that one of the most common causes of shoulder injuries in archery is uh, because of the tightness in the subscap, particularly on the drawing side. Okay, subscap's part of your rotator cuff. Um, and 
one of the best ways to stretch the subscap and to make sure you have strength and mobility through the full range of motion is to do those exercises like the chin-ups from all the way from a free hang. So this stretches the subscap. Uh, another great way to stretch it out through that full range is also overhead press, but we'll go through that in another video. Okay, that's it for today. See you on the range.